What's up everyone, it's Gray, and let's just say I now owe someone for sending me this set early, and have no intention of paying them back. Midi scale ships have returned. Kinda. In scale but not in name. This set is part of the Starship Collection, which seems to have replaced the Helmet Collection for the time being, and I'm totally for it. This new Millennium Falcon and included stand helps celebrate 25 years of LEGO Star Wars. We've come a long way. I gotta say, in person, I'm extremely happy with the level of detail and the angles achieved on this model. It looks very authentic to the source material. I think it's the best looking of the three new ships releasing in March. It does have the most pieces with 921 and thus the highest price tag of 85 bucks. That's pretty pricey. Let's take a closer look. Personally, the first thing I'd want to know about this set is if the important tile details are printed or achieved with stickers. I am very pleased to report they are all printed. There are no stickers in this set. A surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. That alone is worth a few bucks to me in value. You'll immediately notice that the hull is interestingly detailed with a number of tiles, slopes, and wedges, which really help to recreate the rugged look of Han Solo's modified Corellian YT series freighter. This greebling effect looks really great at this scale and covers most every angle, and it's elevated by the printed elements like the rear heat vents, the side docking rings, the front maintenance access bays, as well as the cockpit. It looks and feels very premium. The bottom even has some decent detail, though it'll probably spend most of its time on the stand out of sight. I appreciate that. The building experience was really great. You start with the centermost frame, then build each individual angled section, top and bottom, and attach them like a shell with clips and Technic pins. It was really satisfying and feels pretty sturdy. The most surprising piece in this set is this flexible translucent blue tube. It has a textured look similar to stacked Lego studs, but it's one pliable hollow piece. I've never seen something like this used before, but it works really well to recreate the engines. There are a few Easter eggs hidden in the build process, like this nanoscale scene of Chewbacca and R2 playing with the holographic Dejeric table. I really appreciate these small nerdy details that you'll never see. It put a smile on my face, so I won't spoil the others for you. I like pretty much everything about this set. It looks so awesome from every angle. The only minuscule nitpick I have concerns the upper quad laser cannon. It looks fine, but it only moves vertically. I might have to put it on a swivel like the main sensor antenna uses to achieve the correct angle. I've been wanting an original trilogy LEGO Millennium Falcon for a long time now. The last couple of Playscale ones have been sequel trilogy inspired, but I don't have the space for one that size anyway. This is the only one I'll ever need. I know some people think that these display style ships should come with at least one minifigure, and while I agree it would be the cherry on top to get a Han Solo figure to put on the stand as well, I don't think it's necessary for this style of 18 plus display set, but there is a spot form on the right side. This is perfect for someone that wants a relatively detailed model of the Millennium Falcon and doesn't want to have to dedicate an entire shelf to it. I can see more casual fans of LEGO picking this up. Overall, I think this is a great looking set. It authentically recreates the most iconic ship in Star Wars close to flawlessly. It is pricey, but it will actually be the cheapest way to get a new LEGO Millennium Falcon when it releases on March 1st. The lack of stickers and the interesting build techniques makes this one of my favorite sets in recent memory. I can't stop looking at it. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, smash the like button, and if you haven't, maybe consider subscribing. Thanks for stopping by, take it easy.